Y'all, like, my phone upside down. I try to put some um, mineral oil on that little eczema part I have on my face. But, y'all, my phone upside down. This way, look when it's, like, when it's upside down. Like this. Yeah, odd. <laughs> Put this thing back on, right side up. Okay, well, looks better. Looks different, but better. I don't know. It looks different, better at the same time. I don't know what. But anyway, let me tell y'all. I was up in the store, right? I was up in 7 Eleven. And I see this man sitting there. That he's smacking and he's eating. I don't even know if he paid for the food. I don't think he did. And I look. And I see him over the food, the food that's out in front of everybody. He's over the food, and he's just smacking and eating. And then I seen this other lady come up. She coughed a couple of times, and she had, like, pizza in her hand, and she wasn't wearing masks either. I said, that means when you went in the store, you must have took off your mask, and then you must have grabbed all the pizza. So, that, so that's, like, strategic. Like, you, you just rip it off as soon as you walk in the store, or maybe you never had it on or something like that, right? And then you just grab a piece and you try to get out. I guess I told the cashier lady, I said, is, why is that man eating over the food like that? That's nasty. The first time I tried to talk to the cashier lady, she's like, you know, she kind of ignored me. Or whatever, when I wanted to ask for a cup. And I was like, and then she walked off. I was like, okay, that's disrespectful. That's rude. Um, here's the thing about this cashier lady. Is that like a customer came to me and she complained to me. I'm a random customer myself. She said that this lady here, she doesn't like women for whatever reason. That cashier lady, she doesn't like women. And it's usually, to make it so bad, it's usually women that don't like women. That's what I noticed. Um, and men don't like women too. But, like, women don't like women. It's like 50 50%. You expect because a person's a woman, you expect them to like women more. No, they don't. It's like a 50 50% chance that they don't like women themselves. And it's like, that's sad. That's sad as heck. So, anyway. And so I did, I did this little thing, right? I was looking at the lady, and I was kind of studying her, right, with who she was saying hello to. Me and my dad walked into the store. She said hello to my dad. She didn't say nothing to me. Another man walked into the store. She said hello to him. Another man walked into the store. She said hello to him. There was this customer that started making fun of her um, for saying that. Um, and I was like, yo, I'm a woman. She didn't say anything to me. That was not like mainly men walking in the store. So it's like, you know, it's odd. I'm like, well, how, why are you working in customer service if you don't even respect, like, half the people here? When I was in customer service myself, I was, like, so bad, like, at, um, I guess you could say I was so good at treating people equally that I wouldn't even notice if a person was white or black. I wouldn't even notice that. Um... And it gets to a point where, like, okay, well, how come customers, servers don't treat people like that? It's just, it's just strange. It's like every time you look around, a person has to be selective and all that stuff. That person, she, she's probably about 40-something years old, but in her face, she look like she's 60. She got wrinkles all the way down her face, like, um, 45, maybe 50 years old. She got wrinkles all the way. She look like a pug. Like, she look ugly as hell. I guess, cause, I guess, like, the amount of, like, was it the amount of like stress the amount of discrimination that you got to put in the energy you got to put in every day every blinking moment of your life you know kind of drains away from a person's face because that chick was ugly like <laughs> how you don't talk about people looks but listen y'all she need she need to be talking about shit about it. it was ugly and i told her this man i looked at me this man he's smacking over the bar right he's just smacking and eating i look at his face I look at him. I said, he's standing right over the hot food. You know how they got the hot dogs on the rollers? I said, why is he just standing over the hot food looking like that? Why is he doing that? Um, that's nasty. And especially with COVID, supposed to be wearing the mask. So anyway, this other lady come up beside me. She got about six pieces in her hand. And I'm like, yo, that's nasty. And she didn't have a mask on either. I'm guessing the cashier woman, the woman who was, you know, kind of ignoring me in the beginning. And uh, ignoring me. And the, st the staff had to pretty much get her to come over there to help me, by the way. Because while I was speaking to her, she walked away. And that's weird. Uh, that's very disrespectful. So, um, yeah. So, when I talked to her about it, she just looked at me and she's she just smiling at him like this. Smiling at the man like this. Yeah, she's just looking at him, smiling. I'm like, yo, that must be a family member or something, cause they both they look like they all had the the 
woman and man look like they had similar features or something like that. I don't know. Just maybe white, old, and ugly. I don't know. Just similar features. So, <laughs> um, and that's like really bad. You know what I had to do right after that? I had to call like corporate um, 7 Eleven. I had to call corporate 7 Eleven after that because I'm like, I'm not going to put up with this bull mess, man. Somebody need to lose their job. Somebody need to lose their job. The woman that walking up with the pizza, she had no mask on. That means that she must not have mask on as soon as she walked in the store. You know what that tells me? That tells me, like, she coughed a couple times. Actually. It tells me that it's, like, strategic. She didn't want to wear a mask. She probably put the mask down before she actually got the pizza. Nasty. Um, yeah. So I ain't putting up with this mask no more. Next time I'm going to go up in that store, I'm taking it. As soon as I see this stuff like this, I'm taking pictures. I ain't putting up with stuff anymore. Uh-uh. No way. Ain't no way I'm going to be walking up in your nasty uh, COVID cloud and all that stuff, trying to get sick, trying to get me some hot chocolate. I went in the store. I didn't even buy the hot chocolate anymore. I left that hot chocolate around the counter. I said, I don't want this anymore. Like, it's, it's just, you know, I don't want it. I should have probably spilled the shit. That's what I should probably done. <laughs> but I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. But, um... People playing around with this disease. I don't know what the hell wrong with people. They playing around. It's like, you want to be walking around the outside and go see your car and be smacking around. That's cool. But you over people food. And you might be a COVID carrier. Most people don't even have symptoms. And then, like, you're breathing on a person's food. They get that. They pick that food right up after that. Right up after you. And they're hungry. And it's like Thanksgiving and all that stuff. They're going to get sick. And they, some, of them people, some of these people can possibly die. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, bye.